and welcome back to today, this week's Teams in 20. So today we'll be going over Microsoft bookings. So without further ado, let me introduce our presenter today. We have Hannah, who's going to be going through Microsoft bookings. Over to you, Hannah. Thank you so much, Zane. I'm just going to take control now. So um, good afternoon, everyone, and um, great to have everyone here today for the next 20 minutes. Uh, as as I mentioned, my name is Hannah M and I'm a customer success manager in the UK for Microsoft. And we're going to spend the next 20 minutes or um, yeah, just under 20 minutes now looking at the Microsoft Bookings app. So I'll do a very quick introduction and we'll do a quick fire tour to have a quick demo and have a look at how Bookings um, works and some of the key features. And at the end and during the duration, we'll be able to take some Q&A questions questions as well. Um, so what is Microsoft Bookings? It is a online booking and scheduling app. So if you have any scenarios uh, where you need to have uh, either customers or potentially employees and colleagues booking appointments and in an automated way, the Bookings app app can help do this in a really seamless way. So it takes away a lot of the burden and heavy lifting from doing any admin, such as scheduling, sending out any invitations and adding things to diaries. So it's a really, really easy way if you want to create a self-service um, for booking um, appointments. Um, two, two examples just to bring this into life for you. Um, so the first example where I've seen bookings being used is a self-service all hands um, that spanned over a couple of days. So we had an opportunity where a customer was going to be doing a very busy um, agenda session and allowing people to build and curate their own sessions within the diaries. So bookings was used as a way for all of the employees to go in, pick the sessions of choice, pick the most relevant um, times for themselves um, and that allowed them to build out the agendas um, as well. So the admins of the bookings also could manage capacity and also choose whether it would be online meetings or in person. So it really allowed to cater for the hybrid environment. Um, and the second scenario is when you're booking in customer appointments. So whether you have an interface of bookings that faces your public websites or you send a link, um, which I will show you shortly, you can allow people to just go in and at their own leisure, pick appointments of their preference so that they can add that into the diaries. So next slide, please, Zane. So just a high level, quick, um, overview on what some of the key features are and um, so as I as I mentioned it allows you to create the online appointment booking uh, seamlessly it also allows you to manage that real-time appointment availability so you will not find anyone um, having the options to double book integrate seamlessly um, and also provides an experience with automated email confirmations and reminders. So again, taking away any heavy, any burden um, and heavy lifting of the admin side. Um, you can also do appointment rescheduling and cancellations. And, and lastly, the most importantly, it integrates into Microsoft Teams. So you can provide a Teams link to an online meeting when people pick that meeting of choice. So I'm going to take control, share my screen, and we're going to jump in now and have a look at the Bookings app. So here's what I've made earlier. And as you can see, I have a landing page with information about the all hands. So I'm, I've am i built an all hands for my employees and we're going to do a, a full day session where they can go and self-serve and pick the uh, meetings of choice. So as you can see, you've got a couple of options to pick. We're going to just do an IT support drop in. This is the experience that the person who's doing self-service, the booking will receive. So if I scroll down slightly to the bottom, you can see I'm presented with options to pick times. I can even select staff if I knew that there was a member of pers a specific person I'd like to speak to um, and also dates below. As I scroll down further to the bottom, then you can see that you can pick out the local um, 
you can pick out the time zones, but also then put in your information and any special requests. The great thing is some of these fields can be customised, so um, you can go in and pick and choose how this information is displayed and the specific types of questions and details that you're asking. Um, so once I, once I click on book, uh, I would then receive a follow up into my into my diary with the booking and all the information, whether that's an online link to Teams to join the meeting or a information on location and um, where I could find that meeting room. So, as you can see, a fantastic and easy way for somebody to go in and book something. Now, I'm going to take you on the journey as the person who's managing and creating the bookings and into the app itself from the admin side. So you can find bookings inside Office 365. Um, click on your waffle launcher and from here you can find the bookings app. This then will present you into your landing page and then you've got a couple of things that you're going to see in front of you. Um, any shared booking pages that people have added you to, any that you've previously created um, and you've got the uh, button here to create and discover any bookings potentially in your organisation. Creating a new one from scratch, we won't be going through that process, but as, I, as, a, as you can see here, it's pretty self-explanatory and you can get one set up within a few single clicks just by adding some basic information. So what we'll do today is we'll go and jump in to the one that I created and the demo one that you've just seen um, on the other tab. So here you can see we're now in the booking um, app, we're in the all hands self-service agenda that I've created um, previously. Uh, and the thing that I really pay attention to are the things that are on the left hand side. These are kind of all the areas that you can go in and customise. So all of the different areas and services that you can provide. So I'll, I'll just start off with the business information. So business information is just where you can go in and put some basic information such as the title, your logos, any terms and conditions on privacy that you might have. Um, and, and yes, as I mentioned earlier, you can um, change your time zone and business hours. So this is where you can go in and create and customise all of that information. As you can see, it's fairly intuitive to use and you can just um, tap through the different menus. The services tab above that is one of the most important tabs. This is where you create your appointments. And these are the appointments that were displayed in that kind of customer employee friendly view um, that I showed you at the beginning. So we'll, what we'll do is we'll just create one very quickly from scratch so I can show you how quickly it is to get one up and running. So starting with base, uh, the, the basic details, we'll create a new one called training. Um, and I won't go through everything because it could take some time. But as you can see, you can fill out the fields location description. A couple of things I just would like to highlight here. So the online meeting option is here if you'd like to create one. And this will include a link to Microsoft Teams. So that will allow them to join into that Teams meeting experience. If it is a in-person one, then you would select that um, and leave that one blank and just enter the information for your meeting room and location there. Scrolling down a few more areas, I will say um, if you are looking to manage capacity, you can do this as well, especially where you're looking at doing meetings in person. So you might be managing meeting room spaces, which we all know um, we have to um, manage sometimes so we can obviously put in the number of capacities here so you can always run several sessions on the same thing to meet to make sure everyone can attend as well as that on the left hand menu you've got another couple of options you can select your time increments earlier the one we we had was set to 30 minutes we could um, change that to an hour um, and and also very importantly assign staff to that service so you can have those staff who are kind of managing that session added here, which will give them added benefits of being able to manage the process around the admin side of the bookings app. So they'll get a view into that experience. Additionally, as well, 
you can go in custom fields, you can add, add additional errors and um, also review the notifications. So as you can see, there's some really great ways that you can go in to customise experience uh, for anyone that's going to be using the booking app. So I will save those changes and we'll be able to see that come through on the bookings app in a few seconds. So let's go through a couple more of the menus high level. Um, we've looked at services. One of the things that you'll be looking to do is provide your team of people who'll be managing the bookings app. So if you've got a logistics team of 10 people you'd like to have included here, you can add all of their names into the list. This will all give that you can all this will give them specific roles once you've picked them from the list around how they can manage that process. So everyone is able to go in and support the running of the scheduling and customer um, or employee appointments. One tip I will share with yourselves is when you do add someone to the list, um, in order for them to be enrolled as a staff member, they would need to confirm that with an email confirmation. So this will automatically send a message to them to say you've been added as a staff to um, the all hands booking. And in order for them to be confirmed, they would need to just click um, the confirm button. So it just gives them a kind of a bit of um, a bit of process around managing that to make sure they're being opted in correctly. Of this, we have a customer tab. So from here, you can see the customers who have been added to these sessions. Currently, there's nothing to show you, but these this area would be populated once people have booked into the sessions. And then the other page that is allowing you to customize some of those areas is the booking page itself. So this allows you to go through to make changes to how you would like this to be added. And um, if I just scroll down, um, you've got the customize your page so you can go through and set some of the different options here around uh, color themes, et cetera, custom colors and um, having yeah, your booking, lo your company logo on the front as well. Um, we all one thing I mentioned earlier was the time zone. So that's another area you can change that. And you can also go above and set the different scheduling policies. So really quick and easy to use. It's something you can kind of get up and running and, and obviously tweak to the types of requirements you have for bookings and appointments, um, depending obviously how you're using them. The the booking page that we, we viewed at the top, if I scroll up here, can be used in various ways. So you can share the link just by clicking and sharing this out to people um, in your organisation so they'll get to see and view this page. If you prefer, you can send this via email. And also, if you wanted to embed this to a corporate website or internal internet, you can do this as well with this option. So some flexibility in how people can access and enter into seeing that information. Um, and additionally, yes, there are some options around the um, the um, ways in which people can view it um, and who you would like to have being able to access this, whether it's people internally, whether you want to control the self-service, push notifications or not, um, or make it available to everyone outside, including outside of your organisation. So as you can see, there are some a really, there are some flexible and um, great ways to manage bookings. Um, really can get deep into some of the customization and options. Uh, obviously what I've shown you today has been uh, quite high level. So yeah, there's there's some great resources out on support.microsoft around bookings where you can go and delve into some of the areas on this in a lot more detail. Someone's also asked, is there a full Microsoft Graph API? So you could integrate to meetings. The staff can view from Teams. 
Yes, there is. And, and that's a great point, actually. So integrations is um, one of the other options that you can view and, and one I, I meant to, to, to mention. So you can build out integrations here. So as you can see here, it's defaulted to the Power Automate. So this can obviously allow you to build some process and automation around the way the bookings uh, service can work. Um, I've just seen um, a question about can you take a service offline for a chosen period of time? Yes, absolutely. So you can manage and flex that. So um, if you've got times that you want to be offline, you just need to pick that from within the service and within the schedule so that you can you can block out those times. Thank you, everyone, for spending your lunch with us today. We really appreciate your time. We'd also appreciate your feedback. I just sent the form link in the chat. So if you could please fill that in, let us know if there's anything you want us to cover in the future, how you thought today's session went uh, and so on. So next week we have a uh, Microsoft tasks and update session date. So that will be next Wednesday at 12 p.m. as usual. And that is it from us. Thank you so much for joining us today. And I hope you have a lovely rest of your day. Thanks everyone. Bye bye.